good evening and welcome to the show. I figured that since somebody mentioned it, or since it was the KSP challenge of the week, uh, we would look at landing spacecraft on rockets. Very specifically, no parachutes, rockets only. Okay, let's detonate. Ditch, ditch, and now we need to go retrograde. This thing better not crash into me. Oh nice, the thing's just kind of flying sideways because there is just a little bit of uh, atmosphere here so the, the air is catching it and pulling it sideways. So far it is but... Uh, oh there, temperature gauges! I'm not sure Taco Bell food is going to produce the optimum space poop for growing potatoes. I think that's more a McDonald's, or as I like to call them, Dirty Ron kind of things. Now the question is, I'm very quick saving, right? Because what I want to do is, at the last minute, fire this engine. The drink of the night is just a, a Betty IPA by uh, Hangar 24. Notice the interesting, like, aircraft design and nose art, because, you know, there's something kind of cool about that. There we go. So, coming down 500 meters per second. I actually wonder how much thrust I'm going to get from this. Yeah, Dirty Rons is what uh, I, the name that I've adopted, partly because of questionable standards of cleanliness, but also because, well, Ronald McDonald is clearly a dirty old man. Like, and that's as far as we go. You have not missed anything. You missed me accidentally building a rocket that almost went to orbit without actually trying. Okay. Okay, so we get about 2 G's acceleration on this. And I don't know how far above the surface I am, so... Let's try that. And just a little too late on my explode my testing there. So that is not Elon Musk quality. I guess I could view it from the inside. Let's just take a look. There's my thing here. Oh, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Oh, and I did it too early there. And it doesn't actually have enough fuel. I've basically run out of fuel. That's good to know. I don't even have enough fuel to slow down. So, try opening that port. Oh, yes, good idea. Let's open the, open the shield here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wondering if the model does that, improves the drag situation. Okay, hold on. Okay, and what's going to happen actually is I think we run out of fuel before we... Oh yes, yeah, so we actually run out of fuel at 30 meters per second, but I opened by fired early. Start at 1600, you think? I think that's too late. I think I'm going to start at... Uh... Oh, wait. 1700 but it all depends on it depends on a lot of things and just part of the problem is that I'm literally uh, just short on fuel here still at least we got everyone home safely and go and we're gonna turn a little more aggressively so that's kind of one of those things I'm gonna throttle to 2G right now as we're traveling through the through Mach 1. And then start throttling back up. This is us kind of going through max Q here, right? And you don't want to have too much thrust when you're in the lower atmosphere, otherwise you're kind of wasting energy. Also, because the fuel gets more efficient as you go higher up, there's a certain advantage to burning your fuel uh, later in the flight. Okay, that's us. We're going to hold that there. Look at it go! The chat has not crashed big TJH. 
you are just being ignored, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure why, because there's no, like, bots or anything that would do that. No, I think uh, that Twitch has just crashed just for you. You are about to type out about a slow burn to save fuel. No, it's totally true. But, you see, it's basically a balance between uh, engines getting more efficient as you get to higher altitude uh, against gravity losses and steering losses, and you just kind of have to balance that. And I'm sure there is an optimal ascent profile that will get this whole thing into orbit. And I should ditch this stage now, by the way, so that we reduce the mass that we have to take into orbit, into final orbit. Okay. How far do we get? One minute to go. The velocity has dropped quite significantly here. Oh, there's the music. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's get on the horizon. And then let's burn. see how close we get, see if we can, we accidentally made a single stage to orbit because Kerbal Space Program is pretty efficient. Oh, there we go. Yeah, totally. Totally accidentally put it into orbit. <sighs> we're just kind of flying through it. Who knows where we're going to end up. And this is like a roulette. Anybody want to bet on where we end up landing? Okay, I guess we're not going to skip back into space, so I think we're going to end up here somewhere. Or maybe not. Yeah, we're, we are captured. We are on our way home. And we're not slowing down quickly enough to get down over the space center here. I could have used a little bit of fuel to make that happen, but no. You'd think that opening the shield would make a big difference. I think at this point it doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to close the shield for safety purposes, you know? Oh, apparently we have skipped through Apoaps and once again our... Yep, yeah, Apoaps is here. So we're going to come down somewhere in this sea here. Maybe if we're... I don't think we're going to get that far that we end up on there, but let's find out. I'm going to be so excited. Come on. This is the time. Guess the final longitude of the landing site, right? Guess the final longitude. We're going to take bets here. Of course, you have to know what uh, the location of the space center is here. In the beer of the night. It's the beer of the night. I'm not going to sing anymore because that's just bad. Okay, trying to stop again at exactly the right moment here. Three, two, one. Nice! And we did actually lose our tank, though. So actually, who had 42 degrees? Somebody had 42 degrees, I'll bet you, because that's... Yes, TK0423! correctly guessed that I would be 42 degrees. That's the, that's the longitude. 42 degrees west. Okay, let's go sideways again. Hey, monolith. What secrets do you hold? Average Joe, I'm not really caring. I just wanted to get this spacecraft going out roughly. Yes, I could go higher in the atmosphere before turning. There we go. Nice separation. I like that. Now we got to rotate 180 degrees. I'm going to deploy this. Yeah, it's a, a one meter high model. So I saw something on some, you know, Lego fan website that showed about how it was built and the parts and everything. The construction technique's really, really odd. $120, uh, and I think that's great value for money by the sound of things. It's like, a, a, you know, given the, the cost per piece is about six cents, which is 
way better than your average Lego set, for example. Oh, crap. That is not good. Okay. Let's put these legs in and open this. Come on! <laughs> this is where I realized... Okay. Come on! Wobble through that! Wobble through it! Damn it! Okay. <laughs> We're just going into the ground! Yeah... Okay, so that cl that launch clearly didn't work too well. Let's revert to vehicle assembly. And let's try this. Spin? I, I'm trying to unstabilize it. Okay. <laughs> well, that clearly doesn't work. Actually, the problem is the weight of these isn't so high. I, I need these to be heavier. Oh, excellent, excellent. Oh, almost. Yes. There we go. So now we just need to figure out if we can stop this thing in time. So I'm F5-ing because I think we can actually stop it just fine. So the trick is now that we need to stop this as it hits the ground and, and hit it at just the right altitude. If we do it too early, then the rockets will send us back into the air and then we'll die. But if we hit the ground still going at downwards fast enough, we shall destroy these rockets and everybody shall be saved. Okay, here we go. And... Space! Okay. Land! Go on, land! <laughs> yes, exactly as Elon Musk intended. And I think I might be a little late on that one. No, actually I was just fine. <laughs> yes, another successful landing. That's two out of two. Yes! Three out of three! Yeah, the, you know, real life SRBs will have gimbling, so this might not even get off the ground, but I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it totally gets off the ground! Okay, so let's start heading, turning this way. Ah, it's actually doing a respectable 2G acceleration. Okay, hold your horses there. We should be fine. Okay. 60 kilometers. Okay. So I'm gonna, gonna ditch that. Okay. So now when we get close to maximum altitude, I'm gonna fire these engines. Okay, there we go. And... 3 Gs. Woo! Okay. Doing pretty good. Actually, I guess what I'll do is now I'm going to turn the thing 90 degrees. Okay. Uh, that's not so bad. So now we need to uh, warp to there. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do was add decouplers here. Well, so much for that. So I don't know if these things will give me the thrust, but I'm going to try. Ready, steady. Oh, can't do it from this. Oh, we're getting a bit of speed here. 76 kilometers. That means I am technically in orbit. So now I'm going to drop my Apoaps or my periaps as low as I can. And still hopefully... What? What do you mean? Shoot solar panels? I got solar panels on there. 
Okay. That... Uh, I think that might be providing some thrust. No, I don't think it is. Oh, that's providing thrust. See that? So at least I'm going to return to the atmosphere eventually. Okay, so that, and finally, there we go, now that is the re-entry vehicle. I'm just going to angle it this way. <laughs> okay, come on. Re-entry. You know the way you want to be. Yes, that is right. So now it is going through re-entry. Woohoo! And hopefully we can actually survive. I mean, at some point I hope this will... Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping this will slow down enough so I can jettison them, but... It seems to be taking a long time. I did... Qu oh, crap! I'm just going to turn off this. I'm going to turn off stability control and just let it kind of belly flop through the atmosphere like that. Fairings actually have pretty good thermal tolerance compared to other parts, so we're now at Mach 3. Yeah, we're really starting to feel... Now, here's the thing. Yeah, we've got through re-entry without any uh, disabling thermal controls or anything, so that at least is good. Time to jet jettison this. Excellent. And at some point, I need to jettison this and start firing. <laughs> get rid of that. Okay, we still have all our engines. I'm just going to let this kind of tumble. Now, here's the thing. I'm coming in at a higher altitude than ever before. And I don't know what kind of altitude I'm at. So actually, let's go inside and watch this altitude thingy. We want to fire it when the thing runs about there. Notice our velocity is increasing, by the way, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bingo. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Oh, T stability, reverse thrust. Oh, crap! What the hell? Oh, man, of course! I was going sideways. Yeah. Time to go. <laughs> oh! Here's me, like, trying to save Jeb, <laughs> and Bill and Bob were just like, where's Jeb going? <laughs> Crash. <laughs> this might be hard to do. That was actually the best one yet in terms of timing. <laughs> it's like we hit on top of this mountain. Wow. I I'm gonna call that a success. Let's let's get out and climb to the top of that. Oh, so we can catch the last rays of sun. Yeah, that would have totally been perfect if it was on a flat surface. I mean, I think it was pretty perfect. I think they all survived. I'm totally going to call this. I mean, I think this is like the end of tonight's stream, to be honest. So i got to say thanks for everyone for showing up and doing stuff. I mean, I don't even know how many people watch these things anymore. But uh, yeah, always glad to be here and always glad to be doing silly things like this. And I, I am hoping to get back to a regular posting schedule soon, but... You know, family and uh, family and work has been kind of getting in the way. Good night, everybody. Fares you well. Have a good new week. See you around next week. And until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly. Shit.